Previously, we talked about this Mexican bootleg of He-Man and said that they, uh, he's a part of a bigger line of bootleg, uh, bootleg action figures. And here we have Mortal Kombat, Sub-Zero and Scorpion. Are they twins? Find out <laughs> in this episode of Nonsense. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure these are all made by the same sculpture. Um, they have very similar style. These are very tall figures. I mean, some of this information might be uh, repeated if you saw the, the previous Simon video, but uh, these are heavy, uh, very, a bit smelly. This has a very strong, yeah. probably not very healthy smell. We had to air them a few days outside, right? Mm -hmm. We left them outside for some days. And still, and still, uh, like when you when you move a joint, and maybe like it maybe say they were airing like this position, uh, we bring them inside and we do this. Whoosh, now this part Oof. was in the air and then releases this very toxic. <laughs> this is so, it cannot be good for our no health. risk, no fun. <laughs> <laughs> so they have the their look from Ultimate Mortal Kombat Three. Paint is very sloppy. This time you can tell that uh, they were molded in black plastic and painted on top, but with not enough layers. And you can see a uh, some of the black through oh, yeah. and even uh, here. Uh, also in the sculpt itself, uh, you see this it looks like a mold. Sub-Zero has the same. So it's a molding, something in the mold. So yeah, the sculpt is very basic. You can see the back. Yep. Here, massive, <laughs> massive legs, very muscular. I don't know what's going on here with this. It came like this. Is so, it reddish? Do I see yeah, that right? It's like a brownish thing. I don't want to think too much about what it could. <laughs> 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 and uh, the the heads are a bit funny in that uh, the eyes are placed so low. They can then, hardly see anything. And and then, and then you can tell also that the. The, the white paint is much bigger than the intended or sculpted area for the eyes. Yeah. So the eyes would be originally smaller and and more low, low, lower even. So interesting, interesting. Anyways, these look very fun together. Quickly look at the articulation. Uh, they both have uh, a neck swivel, swivel at the shoulder, be limited. In the range of motion, due to the, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rotation at the elbow, and you, you saw what happened. <laughs> take too much. Waist, hips, but they are obstructed a little bit by uh, this loin cloth thing. And knees. This is actually a separate piece that plugs mm. funnily in the crotch. <laughs> they also come with accessories and that is the good over here harpoon for for scorpion which you can see was cast in the blue plastic and painted gray on top and then you can see some of it peering through yeah. the paint and it has a peg and the arm has a, a hole in it so you can peg it and there you go. Ta-da! Um, ready for battle. Actually, that's very cool. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Get over here! And, <laughs> and, and that's the signature accessory or weapon for, for Scorpion. And Sub-Zero gets also his traditional accessory that we all know from the games. The same, <laughs> the same spear from Scorpion. <laughs> For some reason, okay, I'll take it. Sure. Um, again, the blue plastic, no paint, and uh, likewise can be peg pegged on on his arm. Yeah. And so Sub Zero can go. No, you get over here. No, you get over here. You get over here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mortal Kombat Theater. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, so that was a look at the Scorpion at Sub Zero from the, let's call it, uh, let's call it Chunky. Chunky. The Chunky, chunky line. line. Because they're heavy, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Heavy and chunky. It's called the Heavy and Chunky line of uh, Mexican bootleg action figures. Do you have any 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 thoughts? No. <laughs> White. That's the wrong show. <laughs> no? Is the right one? No. <laughs>